Your Majesty, Sri Prabhu, the fifth, sixth. Honorable Lord Du Ayuko, the Prime Minister of Tonga. Honorable Lord Lazuke, Speaker of Parliament of Tonga. The Right Honorable Sir Alan Hazelhurst, MP, Chairperson of the Executive Committee. Honorable Alex Boyd Dykes, Chairperson of the CWP. Dr. William F. Shida, Secretary General of the CPA. Distinguished Executive Committee members. Members of Parliament, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored and privileged to have been entrusted with the task of proposing the vote of thanks at the opening ceremony of the CPA Executive Committee meeting held in this beautiful islands of Tonga. At the inception, let me take this opportunity to extend our warm greetings and good wishes to Your Majesty, the King Tupu VI, on Your Majesty's ascension to the throne a few weeks ago. We are very much grateful to Your Majesty for the honor conferred upon the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association by grazing the opening ceremony of the Executive Committee meeting of the CPA and declare opening the meeting. I would also like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, the President and the people of Sri Lanka, and also on behalf of myself, to convey to Your Majesty and the people of Tonga the deepest condolences on the death of the late King, the King George Tupu V. We are very much aware that the late king was a visionary leader who was very much loved by the people. I must extend our profound appreciation and gratitude to our host, the Honorable Speaker, Lord Lesseke, for the invitation, warm welcome, generous hospitality, and the excellent arrangements made for this meeting. Being an island nation ourselves, I feel very much at home among the friendly people of Tonga. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association has provided us a common platform to share our experience in democratic governance, in the setting of a common heritage which brings us together as a family. The Executive Committee of the CPA, which is the driving force behind the association, has done a human service to make our association relevant and vibrant in the context of multitude of other associations that have sprung up in the international arena. I am also thankful to the Executive Committee for its guidance in administrative matters, which has won the confidence of the member branches. I must take this opportunity to thank Honorable Prime Minister of Tonga for his distinguished presence at the opening ceremony of the Executive Committee meeting. The presence of the Prime Minister on this occasion is undoubtedly an honor bestowed on the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, for which we are profoundly grateful to him. I must particularly mention the excellent leadership provided by the incumbent chairman of the Executive Committee, Right Honorable Saren Hazelhurst, MP. I am confident that CPA will achieve greater heights with his capable leadership in time to come. I must also thank Dr. William Shija, 
Secretary General of the CPA, Dr. Srirai and his team have worked tirelessly to make this meeting a great success. It is also my duty to thank the Secretary General of the Parliament of Tonga and his staff for their support and dedication to make this meeting a success. Finally, before I conclude my vote of thanks, I wish to invite you all to visit Sri Lanka on the occasion of the 58th CPA conference to be held in Colombo in the month of September 2012. Thank you.